Galaxy AI is here on the Galaxy S23 Ultra. Samsung has just given up its unique selling advantage on the S24 series with One UI 6.1 now dropping on the S23 series. But is there a performance difference with Galaxy AI here versus Galaxy AI here? Today we find out. Let's go. So when I got One UI 6.1 on my S23 Ultra the other day, I had a bit of an idea. I wanted to see how Galaxy AI performed on the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 for Galaxy versus the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 for Galaxy. Because when Samsung brought in Galaxy AI, they said it required extra processing and a bit of extra power, and everyone was led to believe that was because of the Galaxy S24 Ultra's 8 Gen 3 for Galaxy. But it's now in this. Every single bit of it. So let's find out. To make sure it was a fair test, I made sure that both phones were cooled significantly. And to do that, I stood in front of the air conditioner holding the phones up to cool them down. Just YouTube things. Yep, things I do. And then from there, I wanted to go through each one in the advanced intelligence list and go through all of the features and test them against each other for speed and accuracy. So let's kick it off with the first one in the list, the phone app. Samsung have built Live Translate into the phone app with Chat Assist. Both phones have got the exact same feature. So I ran phone calls on both at separate times just to see what the speed and the accuracy of the translation was. Because this is a feature that is done on device. It requires the processing of the chipsets to do it in real time. So let's put them against each other. I made a phone call to myself, what a loser, and had to step outside to do it. So I did one while I was in the room and then stepped outside to answer. And what you can see when you actually have both of them next to each other is there is absolutely no difference in performance. The performance difference is negligible at best, but I honestly couldn't see one when I was doing it live. I may notice it when I edit it, but honestly, in real time, there was no perceptible difference. So that's good. That means you're getting the full experience of Galaxy AI on the S23 Ultra when it comes to translation during phone calls. S23 Ultra off to a great start with Galaxy AI. The next one is to do with the keyboard. Now you can go watch my Galaxy AI video to get a full breakdown of how these features work. So I'm not gonna go into full depth here, but the keyboard again is down to Samsung using on-device processing. There's three different factors. There's chat translation, which is a live translation feature. There's writing assist, which is all to do with styles and giving you different styles of writing. And then there's spelling and grammar. So it can sort of correct for you. Starting with translate, again, I texted myself, I need some friends. And what you can see is that again, there is absolutely no difference in speed. I made sure to write the same message on both phones so it could see how it translated it in real time. And as it sent and received the messages, it did it instantly on both. Great, S23 Ultra keeping up the pace. I also then just decided to write a massive paragraph and see how that goes. And again, absolutely no difference in speed and time with the exact same writing and the same translation being spit out. Beautiful. I then moved down to writing style. Again, I made sure to write the same message in both just to see how it would spit out the different styles of writing and how long it would take. And once again, you're getting a bit of a theme here. There is no difference in time. There was one small difference I noticed in that the S24 Ultra did give me slightly bigger options, so more text, so it did actually maybe process a little bit differently whilst taking the same amount of time, but there was not anything or any reason to go and abandon your S23 Ultra to get an S24 Ultra, because you could probably do that test a few more times and it might change the styles of writing on both phones anyway. Tick S23 Ultra. The last one was spelling and grammar. I made sure to really make this bad, and again, it's like, it's just the same on both. There is no difference. In fact, in some instances, the S23 Ultra won these speed tests, which is wild to me. After Samsung keyboard, there's the interpreter. The interpreter is a really cool one for me because I like the idea of having something that doesn't require internet to then be able to use AI to process the information. Now, the way the interpreter works is you need to have the language packs downloaded and installed. And then once you do, it will live translate to the language that you've selected. And then when the other person speaks, it translates it back. For this test though, on both phones, I said the same thing at the same time into the phones and saw how long they live translated it. As it turns out, it's identical. Have a listen for yourself. What about tomorrow? Can you come tomorrow? <laughs> Puoi venire domani? 
This is very impressive that it's doing it at the same time. I tried so many different ways to trip this up and make the S24 Ultra go faster, but it didn't. Crazy. The next one is Samsung Notes. Samsung with Note Assist have built in some really cool AI features. And this is one I'm really happy that has come back to both the Fold and the S23 series through the One UI 6.1 update. The first one I wanted to try is auto formatting. Now I picked a script from an upcoming video, so make sure you subscribe to see that one, and tried to format it in a way where it's got meeting notes. Basically wanted to look a little bit more formalized. Again, you're, you're not going to find there to be any difference in speed and performance. You won't miss having an S24 Ultra. You can be safe in keeping that for this particular feature. And I tried the same across all of the different ones that were there. The summarize feature, same. Translate feature, same. Spelling and grammar, same. You can see the pattern, right? Samsung have made the experience the same on S23 Ultra as it is on the S24 Ultra, even though these are features that require extra processing. But do they really? So I really liked that test because I think you're taking a bunch of text and you're trying to use AI to generate a lot of different things. And by the looks of things, they perform the same on both. Sometimes, if not better, on the S23 Ultra. However, that changes when we head into Voice Recorder. This is where I think you see the power of the S24 Ultra's 8 Gen 2 for Galaxy. So I picked the same two voice recording clips and I ran the transcription. And what you can see is the S24 Ultra is far faster at processing that spoken word and it's then giving you a much quicker result. The result's the same at the ends and you're not waiting that much longer, but the result is quicker you do get there faster with the S24 Ultra. To summarize though, it's the same speed. There is absolutely no difference when you hit summary to summarizing the text that has been output, which is good. I ran the test a couple of more times with different voice recordings, but it was the same result. The S24 Ultra was faster at that transcription process, which is good. You do want that extra bit of processing to actually have a benefit. It's just, is that benefit enough? Probably not. After voice recorder is Samsung internet. This is another one of my favorite AI features that Samsung have built into the Galaxy AI platform. And I was going to be really interested to see what actually happens with the summarize and the translate feature. Well, you can wonder no more because actually when I did this, the S23 Ultra was faster. It summarized the, the website and the article, and you can see how long this article actually is faster than what the S24 Ultra did. Now, it doesn't quite give you the same information. So the summaries were actually a little bit different in their length and their text. And this was the detailed one as well. When I switched it to the short or the standard summary, it was a little bit more even, but it's quite incredible the difference that the S23 Ultra can actually be faster at something and it's newer. Like the S24 Ultra has had this feature for months already. So quite incredible what Samsung have been able to do to achieve some parity with last year's phone and last year's processor. The live translate feature I found really interesting as well because it was the same. There was no difference in speed performance which is good some people might think it's not good but honestly i think it's a, a positive that samsung has brought this experience to the same measure on the s23 series as what it is on the s24 the last one in the advanced intelligence menu is photo editor now this should have no bearing on the processor whatsoever this will be completely down to the server space that samsung has allocated wherever those servers are located for how it's going to edit these photos using AI. I did two tests with this. I know I held up two sets of two. I did two. I'll do it this way. I don't know. I'm, I've lost. Let's just keep going. The first one was a picture of my daughter. I just resized her with Galaxy AI's photo editor. And then I hit generate. And yes, this one takes a while because again, it's not being processed on the phone. But what you actually can see with this is the S23 Ultra came back with a result quicker. But the S24 Ultra's result was better. So I can't explain that because it's theoretically using the same service at the back end, but the S24 Ultra was a cleaner finish with its generative AI versus what the S23 Ultra produced. Second test I wanted to do was remove my daughter from the picture altogether, just to see what they did. Again, the S23 Ultra, I think was slightly ahead in speed. And if not, it was pretty much the same, but the result was weird. Like the S23 Ultra, it almost gave it like a coat hook with feet to try and make it replicate a person. Or as the S23 Ultra just gave it this like weird stand. I, I didn't like either of them, if I'm being honest. 
Not that I think this is what the generative AI is specifically for. It's for tweaking and correcting and sort of resizing and removing things from backgrounds that aren't meant to be there, not the subject of the photo just disappearing. So I think Samsung just tried to replace it, but in a creepy way. I also then tried the generative wallpaper. I know it's not on this list, but it is part of Galaxy AI's function. And in here, you can see that the S24 Ultra, using the same prompts, pressed button at the same time, did it quicker, and it also produced more results in the first example that I tested. I then ran the test again using a different prompt, but again, the same one on both phones. And it was a bit more even, and the results were a bit more even. There was four and four. Very similar results on both, which you, I guess, can expect. But there were some subtle differences between the two, which I just found interesting. It's not relevant, but it was interesting. I also did Circle to Search, which is Google's new Circle to Search feature. Am I with it today? What you found here is that the S24 Ultra was quicker at recognizing and then giving you the results versus the S23 Ultra, which lagged a little bit behind, not by much, but it still produced results. So if you can bear waiting that 0.3 of a second, then all good but if you can't then obviously upgrade i'm i'm joking and then i wanted to try something different at the bottom of this menu is process data only on device i wanted to see what features you lose from turning this on that and then what features are allowed to work with ai without being needing cloud-based processing some of the features as it states in here requires both on device and cloud to sort of combine to give you the best results so i went back and tested all of them again and i found some really interesting things the first thing is realistically the only thing that works is translation things like summaries things like being able to auto format in samsung notes they all kind of lose their ability once you turn this on but things like translation they all work which is very, very intriguing to me. And the transcription. Transcription and voice recorder still worked using Galaxy AI with this turned on. But the summary stuff in websites and Samsung Notes and the auto format, all of that needed this toggle to be turned off. Very, very peculiar. So what was the point of this? For me, curiosity got the better of me. I wanted to see if there was a difference in experience with Galaxy AI on last year's phone versus this one. And then I wanted to show you whether there was that difference as well. And positively, there is no difference. You will actually get a one-to-one -one experience in Galaxy AI with pretty much all of the features on last year's phone instead of needing this year's one. Which some people may be viewing as a bit of a negative that Samsung delayed the launch of Galaxy AI on the S23 for this long because some people may have upgraded to S24 in this time period. But I see it as a positive because those people who did upgrade They've got superior hardware for years to come. They've got the longer software support and they've got the new camera functions that the S23 Ultra isn't getting. But for those people who haven't upgraded, you're getting access to Samsung's newest and latest feature set and it works very, very well one-to-one -one with the latest phone. So that was my thoughts. That was the test. Let me know if you're excited for Galaxy AI on your S23 if you've got one. Let me know if you're hoping to get it on the likes of the S22 series. We're not sure whether that's coming yet. Make sure you hit that subscribe button for any future videos that you would like to see. Let me know in the comments what it is you want to see after you've hit subscribe. Come follow me on my socials, Twitter slash X, and also on Instagram. I'll see you in the next one. You.